Cause it's you and I We're a perfect lullaby Cause our hearts collide You color every rainbow in the sky Hi Razor TV, I'm Ming Bridges, singer-songwriter from Singapore and I've just released my brand new album, Morphosis. Despite having a killer bod, homegrown pop singer Ming Bridges feels more at home writing songs than wearing a bikini. I think wearing a bikini is a lot harder. <laughs> Songwriting is something that comes very naturally to me. I think wearing a bikini, even though I'm very comfortable with my own skin now, it's something that you have to get, take getting used to. I think it's the same with everyone though. You just get worried like, oh, it's, it's looking at me, something like not, not right or this and that. Speaking at the launch of a debut English album, Morphosis, the 21-year-old Eurasian singer-songwriter tells Razor TV her spelt figure is the result of a raw vegan diet which was on for 28 days just before the filming of her music video, Summertime Love. The diet excluded all food and products of animal origin and she only ate food cooked below a temperature of 48 degrees Celsius. I'd done a lot of research on um, the raw vegan diet and I've seen so many YouTube videos of these like 20 and uh, 70 five-year-old women who look like they're 30 and I was like, I want to look like that. So I basically I tried it and I literally never felt fitter and healthier my entire life. My skin was glowing, my eyes were amazing and, and that was the point I did um, Summertime Love the video and I'm really grateful I did that because of for Summertime Love in, in particular it was a 48-hour shoot. I'd slept two hours and that was like me and Kevin Au who I was very um, grateful for doing my video were like raring to go like super energetic and it turns out he loves healthy food too so we're like woo healthy food together. Ning who's half British and half Chinese, admits that she has packed on a few pounds since she gave up the diet, which she found to be too antisocial. Like I'd go to a restaurant and I'd be like, oh, I haven't been eating this for a while. I'm like, what am I going to eat? So I went back to um, a more a more normal diet. Um, I think there's definitely been a, a bit of a change because, um, because I do have my hypothyroid, it means it's very hard for me to lose weight, which I'm, I'm quite happy with how I look now because when I was in Taiwan, I was like dreadfully skinny. I'm quite lucky that I do like eating very healthily as it is, so I still think I have a lot more energy than normal. Ming is embracing a sexy rock chick image in her new album, a departure from the sweet girl next door look in her recent Mandarin album, Ming Day, and even further from her bubblegum pop experiment in Who Knows. I want to show women that it's not about having to be sexy in a provocative way. I feel that my sexy is more fit and healthy. And it's something that I want my fans to be able to see that there's different sides to me. It's not just the sweet, innocent girl side. I love to be edgy and I can be an extrovert and outgoing as well. Especially this album, um, we've experimented more with dance and energetic songs. So I think this image especially is really fitting with the music that I'm producing at the moment. Ming wrote and composed all 10 songs in her album Morphosis. She'll be going on an album promotional tour here this weekend, performing at Starbucks outlets around town. Her album is selling at the international coffee chain. You can also get it online via iTunes and major music stores.